So let's start in the Mombasa region and Medang in particular. That's where much of the political focus was this week. It's where the Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and a large delegation was welcomed by Medang Governor Peter Yama and other members of the Medang community, except Medang MP Brian Kramer. Earlier, Kramer announced on Facebook that he would be there to attend the gathering, whether he was invited or not, and that he would bring his own PA system if he was not allowed to use the one the PM was using. Talk, talk, pull up. No, I guess I come up. On stage, Mr. O'Neill made several announcements. The figure of the projects delivered or to be delivered, according to the speeches, was something in the order of 600 million kina. And that included the Bana Bridge and an airport upgrade. The Medang MP wasn't on stage, but he did, however, live stream the speeches on Facebook, including the speech of the Medang governor, Peter Yama. At the end of the speeches and the groundbreaking ceremony, Kramer drew attention from the main stage when he tried to address the crowd and the Prime Minister. The provincial police commander, Ben Neneo, obviously annoyed by the Medang MP, lost his cool very publicly. So like any other political perspective, there are two sides to it, from the PM and the government. Supporters accused Kramer of breaching protocol and, as one daily newspaper put it, Kramer blatantly gatecrashed the PM's event. From the Kramer perspective, his was an attempt to get the people's concerns heard, including that of unpaid teachers. In May 2017, a similar event happened in the Oro province, where Governor Gary Jufa, who was not invited to the opening of a new hospital theatre, showed up at the venue and forced the cancellation of the PM's visit. On to Wewek in the East Sepik, a totally different atmosphere. <laughs> Governor Alan Bird welcomed the PM. Governor Bird said quite explicitly later that as an MP he disagrees with the Prime Minister on many things, but he still accorded respect to the PM as a representative of his people. <laughs> Time me blast up Big Mac. Me blast by make him noise. Something in our street. Me blast by talk out. That's all time you come to place. Me blast by showing you passing. Away from the politics, other major attention grabbers this week were the shootings in Alatau and Port Moresby. A police unit sent from Port Moresby to Alatau raided locations where they shot dead two members of the Tommy Baker gang. Weapons recovered include this Korean-made K1A1 assault rifle brandished on Facebook by a gang member weeks earlier. It's believed he was one of those shot and killed by police. Also in Port Moresby, three members of a gang who tried to rob a Chinese couple were shot by guards and killed. And this was one of several violent crimes committed in the capital city this month.